Welcome to Straight Line MTV, and today we're going to be talking about a few of our favorite things. All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. And today we're talking about my favorite things because we've gotten a lot of emails in our spam folder that are saying, hey, what are you into? So we're going to keep it mountain bike related and we're going to talk about some of the awesome products that we're digging right now. And we're going to show you some of the awesome features of each one. So let's go. All right, first up, we're going to talk about the Trax Factory Sweat Buster. So this product is something that I was a bit skeptical about, but the Trax Factory team sent us out a product sample to try out. And I will have to tell you that I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, this product is $13.99 at TraxFactory.com. And basically what it does is it keeps that sweat out of your eyes. It absorbs so much sweat. I know it sounds nasty, but it does. And it keeps it out of your eyes. Being in Northern California in the summers, we're riding when it's 115 degrees sometimes, and it's just disgusting swamp head. I have no hair to keep that sweat out of my eyes. And Trax Factory to the rescue. This, this inexpensive product is awesome. It's $13.99 for one, or you can get two for double the price. Um, go to TraxFactory.com and check them out. This product is amazing. Um, I wear it on all my helmets now and keeps me sassy. So the next product I'm gonna talk about is a little more personalized product, but I know you haven't watched our grips video because not many people have, but you can go ahead and go to our channel and check out our grips video and I will show you the reason why I use this next product. I had destroyed my wrist at the bike park a couple few hundred years ago and I have the All Sport Dynamics wrist brace. This is a custom brace made by them. They take all your measurements and they make it exact specifications to your wrist. So basically what it does is it limits the movement. So if I fall, which I fall quite often, this will keep your wrist from breaking. Um, this custom version will, it. I have limited movement in my wrist, so they make it to the specifications of your broken wrist and make sure it moves with you. You can also get an off the shelf brace from them. It's the OH2 from All Sport Dynamics. They'll paint it in pretty much any color you want. It's a little bit more on the pricey side, but ask yourself, do you want broken wrists or do you want to be safe? This is the this is one product that I never ride without. You can see in my videos, I'm always wearing my wrist brace. I do have one for my right hand, just in case I go to the bike park and I don't want to be limp wrist number two. So check them out at allsportdynamics.com and they'll hook you up and get you something awesome. So the next product we're going to talk about, I'm going to ask that nobody throws it at me because it will rip my face off. But we're talking about the DMR Vault pedals. These specific pedals here that I am holding are almost 10 years old. I bought these when I was slapping laps at the downhill park, and that's the only time I really rode. And these things have held up very well. As you can see, I'm missing quite a few pins on these, and they're still super grippy. There's a little bit of play in them, but you know it doesn't bother me. I like to play a little bit. Um, for a just over a hundred dollars, depending where you look, these they these pedals are awesome. They have a V2 version. These are the obviously the original versions. I got them right when they came out. I will say these ones, through all the miles and rock smacks that I've put them through, they are holding up like a champ. Thanks, Rolando. <laughs> so the next product up that we have is from Laminex. So if you watch some of our bike reviews, we also did a video where we show you how to put Laminex on. I know you have not watched it because I think seven people have watched it. So go ahead and check that out. This is, it's a cut to fit product. What it is, is you could buy for $20, you get four inches by 60 inches, and it's enough to do pretty much every hot spot on your bike, plus some. It comes in eight mil, 12 mil, so you want that really thick or a little bit thinner. It comes in matte and glossy. This is really high quality stuff. It is the highest quality stuff that I use. I've put this on every bike that I've had for the last six bikes, which is probably what, four months. But this stuff is awesome. So if you wanna protect your bike and keep the value up, this is a great option. If you guys look below, I have a link to Laminex, which will give you 20% off your purchase. 
And that's pretty awesome because some of the other products that you get out there are about 60 to to $100 depending. Um, and I think it's awesome that you become one with your bike as you are taping it and you get to ask your bike if it appreciates you. So check out Laminex, it's awesome. All right, so the next items we're gonna talk about is what I like to ride in. And I like to drape my beautiful body in Troy Lee Design Skyline jersey. This jersey is awesome. I love the graphic, it's very plain. It says Troy Lee Designs, just in case you forget who made it. It's got a nice mesh back. The whole back panel has little holes to cool you off in the summer. It has a nifty little pocket here. You can keep your coins, you can keep your GI Joes. Fits nice, cause I'm a big guy with a dad bod and I like to cover up all my curves and nastiness. So I like the Troy Lee Designs jersey. And I also love the Pearl Azumi Summit shorts. These are the older version of the Summit short from Pearl Azumi. They're nice and thin, they're stretchy and they're great for summer riding. I tried the newer version. They don't seem to be as stretchy or as cool, but they're also nice. But I do prefer the older version of the Summit short. So this is what you can usually see me riding, riding in. I have a few colors of these and a couple colors of the jersey. And I just enjoy riding in them because they're awesome. Another awesome thing that I really love is the Magura MT5 brakes. These are a four piston front and rear, and they're just enough to stop a big boy like me. These are very, very easy to bleed and they're very reliable. If you wanna check out a video where we show you how to bleed these and how easy they are, go ahead and check our video on our channel. Um, they also come in the MT Trail Sport, which is another great option if you just want the four piston front, two piston rear. They're competitively priced. You can find them on sale oftentimes, and they're just awesome. Here I have the Trail Sport levers on the MT5. I think that's the awesome combination. They don't sell them that way, so you have to either buy the levers or buy two sets of brakes and mix and match. I just purchased the Fabio Wilmer. I'm not sure who he is, but they made a signature brake for him, which are the MT5s with these levers. So I'm excited to get those in and keep them on all my bikes. All right, so next on our list of awesome things is the Maxxis Aggressor Double Down Casing Tire. If you follow us on Instagram, you will know that I smash and tear tires on a regular basis and get super frustrated. So I decided to hit the weight penalty and get the double down casing in the Aggressor to keep me from ripping these tires. And so far, so good. This tire has held up to the abuse that I put it through. I don't see any scratches or anything that would indicate that it's giving up on me. This, I would say in terms of grip, isn't as grippy as the Asagai that it comes with, but it is fast rolling. So it's a great combination of rolling resistance and grip. Um, super fun tire to ride. It handles trail riding well. I hope you guys enjoyed all of our favorite things as much as we do. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our past and upcoming content. Follow us on all the social media platforms, especially Instagram, where we like to upload content daily and show you what we're doing as well as some things that are upcoming. Also straightlinemtv.com. And thank you guys for joining us again and we'll see you on the trail.